Anirudh. Today is a big day in your tutela general. Today I am going to teach you one of the most important lessons you will ever learn from me. I am going to teach you, give you step by step guidance on how to do tapas in Todi, the crown jewel of Carnatic Ragas. Because it is so rich in the Gamakas, which are the lifeblood of Carnatic music. It is the eighth Melakatta Raga, where it is known as Hanuma Todi in the Melakatta chart. Uh, it is the second raga in the netra chakra, in the second chakra. It takes the Shuddha Rishabam, Sadhana Gandharam, Shuddha Madhimam, Shuddha Devatam, Kaisika Nishadam, Sampurna Sampurna. This is a raga which has been deeply and extensively employed by the greatest Vagya Karas, especially the Trinity. in their great compositions. So the objective of a Todi Alapana ought to be to express as many of the nuances as possible which are enshrined in the great compositions, especially those of the Trinity. It is this Todi that should be called the Todi, the real Todi. And it is in this Todi that I am inviting you to do tapas. It is one of the most challenging and most rewarding things you will ever do in your musical journey. In order to achieve this objective of being in tune with the Todi of the Trinity, when you sing a Todi Alapana, there are certain do's and don'ts which need to be observed. I will give you those do's and don'ts and I will also go into detail about which notes are to be oscillated, where carve is not to be sung, where there are a few exceptions, where a few plain notes can be sung. All those guidelines I will be giving. So we have to bear all those guidelines in mind, assimilate all those points and then sing a Todi Alapana which will truly reflect the Todi of the Trinity. 